In this video, we will discuss about the IUPC nomenclature of aliphatic amines as well as arine amines. While giving the naming or the IUPC name to aliphatic amines, at that time the E which is present in alkane, so let me write that alkane. So this E should be replaced by amine and the IUPC name will become alkan alkan amine alkan amine now let's start the giving iupc name to this compound while giving the iupc name at that time we have to take precaution that the position of amino group is indicated by lowest possible number so we have to start the numbering like this so this will become 1 and 2 it means that the amino group which is present to that carbon atom it should come the number 1 and then we have to give the number 2 and 3 and so on. So here we can write the IUPC name. So this will become 1 ethan 1 ethan amine 1 ethan amine. If more than one amino group are present at different position in parent chain, their numbers are indicated by suitable prefix like di, tri, and etc. etc. And that should be added before amine. The letter E of the suffix of the parent alkene is retained. Now let's take the other example. So now here we are taking the secondary amine. In case of secondary amines or tertiary amines, the largest alkyl group is considered as the parent alkene and the other alkyl groups as a yon substituent. But in this particular example, both the alkyl groups are same. So we can take this as a one substituent and the other one is the parent alkene. So in this case, this substituent is ethyl, so this is ethyl and we can give the numbering to the other substituent as by considering as alkane, so this is 1, 2, so this will become, this is the one substituent so which is present on nitrogen, so we can write it as N ethyl, N ethyl N ethyl. So this is ethan amine. N ethyl. Ethan amine. N ethyl ethan amine. In case of the aryl amines, the suffix e of the arene is replaced by amines. So likewise, our aliphatic amines, we have to give the naming to the aromatic amines too. Now let's take the other example as a tertiary amine. Now you can look here that we have three substituents. It means that three hydrogen atoms are replaced by this three substituent. So this is one. So this is again ethyl. You can see this substituent. This is again the ethyl. So we can consider these two substituent is present on nitrogen. So this will become N N diethyl. So this will become N N diethyl. And we can consider it as a parent alkane. So this will become 1 and 2. So this will become N N diethyl diethyl. Ethan, Ethan, Amin, Ethan, Amin. Now we can take the little bit the interesting example. Now we can have the example like this. So let me draw. Now we have cyclic Amin. So this is cyclohexane and NH2 group is attached over there. We can have 
the substituent like methyl substituent are present over there and OCS3. So here while giving the numbering to this particular compound we can start numbering like this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. While writing the IUPAC name we have to check the substituents over this particular compound. In case of this compound this is the basic is the cyclohexane so we can write it as a cyclohexane amine cyclohexane cyclohexane amine now we can see that we have methyl substituent we have methyl substituent at position number 2 this is methyl this is also the methyl substituent at position number 3 so we have methyl and we have methoxy at position number 4 so let me write it as a 4 methoxy 4 methoxy and this is 2 3 dimethyl so this is 2 3 dimethyl now while writing the IUPC name of this compound at that time we have to check the alphabetical order we have to not consider di, we have to consider M and again here M. If you see the alphabetical order, 4 methoxy will come first. So we have to write it as a 4 methoxy. 4 methoxy. Then we have 2, 3, dimethyl. 2, 3, dimethyl, cyclohexanamine.